seizures, fitting or convulsions. They can occur for all sorts of reasons. They can occur if someone has a bang on the head, if the blood flow to the head is interrupted for some reason, um, maybe somebody's had a stroke, um, seizures can occur if somebody has fainted, um, seizures can occur in a cardiac arrest, if you have a high temperature, and sometimes they just happen for no apparent reason. And also the person might be epileptic. So if somebody's having a seizure, the most important thing is you protect both their safety and their dignity. So initially what might happen is, depending on the type of seizure, and there's lots of different types of seizures, but it could be that they make a sort of screaming sound. And that might sound like they're in pain and could be quite disturbing, but it's, it's the muscles contracting and forcing the air out of the lungs. They could then collapse onto the ground um, with rigid, out of control movements. Um, if that's happening, protect their safety. Um, protect their head if you can. Don't restrain them in any way, but support them maybe with a, a coat or a couple of cushions or something, just supporting either side of their head so that they're not um, in danger of banging their head. Protect their dignity and make sure that nobody's you know, watching and they may well be incontinent um, and obviously it could be, you know, it's not a nice thing to, to happen. So you're looking after them whilst they can't look after themselves. Time the seizure, look at your watch and time when it first happened. It's possible they could, um, they could stop breathing at some point, but if they're still having their seizure, you keep timing it and you keep looking after their safety. When the seizure stops, it's really important that you check to see if they're breathing. A seizure can occur when somebody has a cardiac arrest and obviously if that was the case, you would need to start CPR straight away at that point. If they are breathing, you need to help put them in the recovery position and sit with them and reassure them as they start to come round. If the seizure lasts for more than five minutes, make sure you phone an ambulance. If they are um, taking an awful long time to come round after the seizure, again, make sure the ambulance is on the way. And always call the ambulance, call an ambulance if it's somebody's first seizure, or if they have regular seizures, but it's not in their usual pattern. It could be taking longer than, than usual, or if they're having repeated seizures. When somebody's having a seizure, the, the blood supply to the brain is not as efficient as, as it normally is. And so if they have prolonged seizures or multiple seizures, the seizures need to be stopped, um, which is why you need the paramedics quickly so that they can administer medication to stop the seizures happening.